Hi, and welcome to the 3D Experience Forum here in beautiful Caesars Palace. Today we're talking with Ramesh Haldari. He is responsible for 3D Experience platform develop, business development. Very simply, what makes the 3D Experience platform different from all the other offerings in the market? So the 3D Experience platform is unique. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to talk about it. So if you, uh, first let's look at what are the problems we're trying to solve. If you look at what our customers have done over the last uh, two decades, in fact, they've adopted various technologies. You know, CAD technology, simulation technology, manufacturing simulation, and also PDM systems and PLM systems. Now the fact is that all these different systems were adopted at different times and maybe from different vendors. And because of that, the companies are left with the disparate set of tools and technologies. And with that comes a set of problems. For example, if you want to work as a team and exchange information within the team, the only way you can do that today is to take this information from one system as a file outside the system and then import it into another system that you're trying to use. For example, if you are trying to uh, collaborate between a design and simulation department and there are two engineers involved, one from this department, one another from that department, then literally they have to export their file. The design engineer has to export the file from their system, let's say Katia V5, mm -hmm. and then the simulation engineer has to import it into Abacus, which might be the tool that they're using or any other simulation tool. Now this results in a lot of non-valued activities. First of all, they have to manage all these files and there is uh, work related to checking in and check out, checking out these files. But most importantly, most often, this transfer needs format conversion, which means a lot of information is lost in that process, as well as whenever there is a change in the design, for example, the, the work in simulation has to be redone. And this is not just the, not just the case between design and simulation, the same thing you can look at it from an enterprise perspective and look at it from design to manufacturing and design to service. And everybody who is involved in the design process is going through this file-based exchanges. Now the PDM system basically manages the files from these different systems. So it says this is the design file, this is the, this is the simulation file, this is the manufacturing file, and tries to put a link between all of this. But imagine you can go to a platform environment where you can eliminate files. So you have, you have no disparate application, but you have a common infrastructure. We have rebuilt all these monolithic applications as apps on the platform. And these apps can talk to each other, and therefore you can collaborate without the need to exchange files. That means as a designer, if I create something on the platform, it's immediately available to the simulation engineer, to the manufacturing engineer, or whoever else might be involved in the entire process, including customers and suppliers. And that's unique. So Dasso Systems has taken more than 10 years to build this platform and rebuild all our legacy applications as apps on the platform. The other players out there have not gone through that transformation yet, so they're still in the file-based PDM world. When you speak with uh, the 3D Experience platform and the unification of these technology stacks, what is the moment when the light bulb goes out for, off for prospects uh, and they see the value and they have that epiphany moment of that's exactly what I need. Yeah, this, you're absolutely right. You know, the engineers are so used to their current way of working that sometimes it takes a little bit of a usage of the platform to understand what is really different. For example, a simulation engineer is so used to loss of information when they get a design file that they don't realize what they're missing. Mm -hmm. And suddenly on the platform, they're able to see the design information, the history of how the design was created, all the parameters of the design, and how they can set those parameters so that they can change very easily. So design change becomes very easy that they can even tweak around the change. Mm -hmm. When they see that information by created by others is immediately available to them in its whole form, then that becomes the aha moment and they realize that they were missing this before. Hmm. So it's that 360 degree visibility of the entire development process and environment uh, yeah. that allows them to get to uh, exponential gains in overall productivity and design accuracy and quality. And with the consolidation of dissimilar technology stacks in an engineering and PDM and PLM environment into a one unified 3D experience platform technology stack, uh, the exponential gains in speed, quality, and simplicity are, are apparent. What customers are you seeing that are reaping the gains of that? 
So initially it was the big customers who understood who had the bigger problems who understood this. But now we are seeing startup companies, you know, who can directly go on the cloud and they can start adopting technologies in not just in a siloed approach, but in the overall platform. So that means that what big companies have taken many years to build and invest to create this platform, it's available on the cloud now for, you know, just in within 15 minutes. So you subscribe to the service and you have the, the, the latest and greatest CAD and the best of the simulation and the best of the manufacturing simulators, simulation capabilities available on the platform on the cloud. So we are seeing an adoption across the spectrum, both large and small companies in all industries. So the 3D Experience Platform becomes then an enabler and an accelerator of innovation, specifically around model-based design in startups. And what are the industries that are the most exciting to you to watch in your daily efforts to uh, enable manufacturers and companies with the platform? No, that's a really good question. But if you see in the, you know, just as a consumer, you see that there's autonomous cars coming up, there's uh, intelligence in every single product that's coming up. So if you see even a lawnmower is becoming more autonomous today. So yeah. every industry is changing and the products that they're building are becoming you know, more intelligent and more autonomous as we speak. So what does this mean? It means that, you know, the products are no longer unidisciplinary. It's not a mechanical product anymore. It's mechanical, electrical, software, control, all put together. And this is important to innovation because more and more, if you look at innovation, innovation is happening at the intersection of these edges and at the edges themselves. Yeah. So that means that we need to take a multidisciplinary disciplinary team, put a multidisciplinary team together and take a multidisciplinary approach towards innovation. And that's what a model-based platform enables. Because imagine that all these multidisciplinary engineers from mechanical, electrical, software, and controls are now able to create the model, virtual model, and they're able to see what each other is doing and how each, each, everyone's work impacts everyone else. And they're able to build this virtual product before they build the physical product, because before they were dependent on the physical product or the physical prototype in order to see how this product works. Mm -hmm. So in the 3D experience platform, you just don't see how the product fits and how it looks. Most importantly, you are able to see how the product works. So if you take any automotive today, even, even if it's not completely autonomous, you've got various autonomous functions, for example, lane guidance or automatic braking assistance or all these functions are coming in all the products. And every time you have a automated or intelligent function like this, that means there's a multidisciplinary effort involved. Mm -hmm. So that means a control system engineer doing something has to take into effect what the mechanical engineer is doing because it's a dynamic system that the mechanical engineer is developing. Mm -hmm. And that required a pro prototype previously to figure out how the lane guidance system works, for example. Mm -hmm. But now you can do all that virtually on the platform. So virtually you can figure out how this product works even before you make the physical prototype. Mm -hmm. And that's the model-based engineering and the value associated with it. Mm -hmm. What you're saying reminds me much of what's been written about and discussed about digital twin technology and the ability to take digital twin and enrich it with a multiplicity of different disciplines to make smart connected products and provide that kind of engineering expertise where the smart connected products can now lead to entirely new service oriented business models as well. Exactly, you're absolutely right. So yeah. you, you, the, the important thing is to, uh, to take the model based approach throughout the enterprise. So right from concept design, where you don't have 3D actually, which is detailed design, you have simple building blocks which you're putting together based on components that you are used before, and then you have the system models and you can simulate those system models. You derive requirements out of it and you go detail level and you build the systems and subsystems and you simulate each one of the subsystems and you put them together and simulate the entire entire smart connected system, if you will, a system of system on the virtual environment. So what happens is as the fidelity improves and you add CAD models, you add FEA models, you add manufacturing simulation models, as the fidelity improves, the final virtual prototype that you're building is exactly similar to what would have existed physically and that's the 3D experience twin. So it's a fit, form and function culmination in one environment for all the users in the company. So mm -hmm. that you're absolutely right. That's that's where the technology takes us. Yes. Yeah.
Well, thank you very much. It's been a pleasure speaking with you. Sure. Thank you very much. Yes. Lewis. And thank you. And if you'd like additional information about the 3D Experience platform or any of the other aspects of what we've spoken about today, please go to our website. Make it a great day.